So this is just a short vlog video. Um, just some thoughts today. Today I saw another article dragging me, a Vice article, just dragging me again for everything I've been accused of. Um, race faking, welfare fraud, uh, the court case that was dismissed um, two months ago, a mockery of my art and my creative products. Just, you know, it's like, when will it stop? It's just, it's been over four years. I've been dragged hard in the media for every single thing that I do or don't do. Um, it's, I'm criticized, I'm misunderstood, I'm, it's, things are twisted into negatives and it's just like if the press can't twist something into a negative, it just ignores it. <laughs> like the human rights advocacy work that I do, most people just assume I don't even do any of that anymore because they don't hear about it in the media. Um, anything that that is good, you know, whether my artwork or something else, it's just it's just ignored. So if they can't exploit it, they won't talk about it. And it just seems like America continues to punish me for existing, and assumes the worst, not the best, about anything associated with me. So, some of you though, don't buy the hype and are um, insightful, compassionate human beings, and I'm grateful to you. So for you, I'm making this video. <laughs> to all those who have stood by me, to those of you who care and even appreciate who I am and what I do and wish the best for me and my sister and my sons. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, thanks for standing by us, for sending words of encouragement in the face of so much hostility and even online pressure to not associate with me or support me. So, um, Many of you have expressed concern, though, in the last year over this court case, the court case alleging welfare fraud, because the media, again, made it sound, you know, super extreme and like I was going to go to jail and all these terrible things, you know, in, not, not innocent until proven guilty, but guilty upon accusation and guilty until proven innocent, which is really... Um, standard fare for anyone without the privilege of public approval. So um, when it was a pending legal matter, I really couldn't discuss it openly because the attorneys were just going back and forth so much that, um, you know, it's just not a good idea to be chatting about legal situations that are pending. So, but since it's resolved, I can, um, I, I kind of want to just share with you like a little overview of what happened. So essentially, um, as you know, I was shamed in 2015 globally for my identity and my parents and local officials and the media went in hard to characterize not just my identity, but my entire life, um, pretty much just everything they could twist into seeming like it was fraudulent or a lie or um, some some kind of a con situation and this does not like these words do not characterize me those of you who know me know that um, this is not representative of who I am and my character so um, you know, but the thousands of articles and memes and just sound bites and everything just became so intense that many people um, bought the hype and my employers were pressured and influenced by public perception. So I lost my jobs. Um, I was one month pregnant. I had no savings. I had clearly, as the whole world knows, no family backing. <laughs> um, no income and you know so what do parents do especially single parents in a tough situation like that i was applying for jobs and um, meanwhile i had to apply for 
some food assistance for, for my kids because we were running out of food, we didn't have any money, um, some friends were helping cover rent uh, from time to time, but you know, like not, that can't go on for very long. So I continued to apply for jobs and I tried several small business endeavors, um, including making candy, my lollipop business, which failed to make money, uh, my soaps, handmade soaps, which also failed, my candles, which also failed, um, also painting and braiding hair. But it's like several, several of these efforts failed because people only seem to be interested in hearing about my racial identity and really could care less about like what I was capable of creating or who I really am. So it took me two years to finally build up my self-employment with art and hair braiding to where I no longer needed that monthly food assistance. So um, I went off food stamps by the end of 2017. And in 2018, shortly after the Netflix documentary came out, um, the state of Washington sued me for with the accusation that I had received more food benefits than I was entitled to or qualified for in those two years. And knowing that I was being not treated like a regular citizen, but being targeted for publicity purposes, I um, got an attorney, I pled not guilty, and the media jumped at that chance to again drag me hard Again, as with many people in the judicial system, the innocent until proven guilty idea is a privilege that some of us are not entitled to or afforded, um, and that the idea really is guilty until proven innocent. So it was once again on me to prove against this huge mountain of negativity and assumption that I was innocent and, um, after a year of the attorneys going back and forth and back and forth, like we are finally able to resolve this and the case has been dismissed. So instead of undergoing a super costly trial, a more costly trial and putting our lives in the hands of a jury, I chose to pay back the state every penny of food that my children received in those two years and we're doing our best to just move on with life. And during my dur during this whole situation, my youngest son was um, diagnosed with autism, and he's actually been eligible to receive state assistance um, for over a year, but I am choosing not to um, receive any of that because I don't trust that we'll be treated fairly. So he doesn't have any SSI or um, DDA benefits I'm trying to just single-handedly provide for my kids and, um, you know, hope that we will at some point stop being targeted in the future. But people will continue to say the worst things about me. I can't stop them from doing that. Um, I can't take away that warped lens that they've been handed and choose, are choosing to look through when they see me. But for those of you who know the real me, who follow my social media, who have paid attention to the details and the complexities and who have read my book, um, I just wanna say thank you. And so thanks for caring enough to know the whole situation beyond the hype, beyond the dragging, beyond the accusations, beyond the rumors. Um, just above everything else, I'm a mother who cares deeply about providing for my children and I care deeply about making the world a better place for them to live in. And no one's opinion is gonna change who I am. No one's opinion is going to change my primary mission in life. Um, so, you know, again, thanks to everyone who has cared about me and for all of you who know that whatever you do to the mother, you do to the kids. And really, you know, so thank you for caring about my kids too. And um, I'm just glad that this court situation is behind us. And I hope that someday people will see that I'm just like you, you know, that more people will see that. Um, I'm just, I'm living, I'm breathing, I am navigating all the situations and challenges that life brings and doing my best to survive and to make 
this world a less hostile place for all of us. So thanks again for being there. And I hope that, um, you know, we can find a future together that is more inclusive and more equitable and more empowering.